So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Game. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, welcome back to Com Again. Today we're going to be going over the Funko Pop Pop Heroes DC Comics Superheroes number 122, The Penguin, Batman and Popster. As with all Funko Pops, this is a vinyl figure. The other ones in this wave on the back are Two-Face, 123. Harley Quinn, Batman, and Popster, 124. Scarecrow, number 125. Riddler, 126. Harley Quinn, Batgirl, and Popster, 127. And Poison Ivy, Batgirl, and Popster, number 128. This does take the rogues gallery of Batman and puts them into special stylized Batman costumes based on their personality. Let's go ahead and open the Penguin up and take a look at this guy. So as with all, or the majority of Funko Pops, at least from the DC Comics Superheroes wave, we have a little card inside for Legion of Collectors. Now this one, it appears to be, I'm not sure if that's supposed to look three-dimensional if you look at it with glasses on or what, but it may just be a printing error. <laughs> But then again, it could also be a 3D image. I don't know. <laughs> so we have here Legion of Collectors from DC Comics. For only $25, you'll receive 100% exclusive DC Comics collectibles created by Funko. Each pop contains exclusive pop vinyl guaranteed. Boxes ship every other month, six boxes per year. No fluff. Every box features at least $50 of value. Join a community of fans and get news direct from DC Comics. Join today at legionofcollectors.com. See if I can take this guy out. There we go. All right. Sometimes these Funko Pops are a little hard to take out. All right, so as you can see here, we have the Penguin Batman Impopster. You will notice his purple cowl, purple gloves, and purple cape, as well as bow tie and striped purple pants. He does have his tuxedo jacket with a white tuxedo shirt buttoned down and black boots. As you can see, one eye is black with black eyebrows, and the other is a white monocle, which the penguin is famous for. He has his purple or er, his yellow utility belt, excuse me. And as with all Funkos, his head can turn all the way around. He has no articulation at the arms, although it does look like there should be, but it is they are actually glued in place. His cape does appear to be fully colored, fully painted, uh, as with the Riddler Funko Pop, which I have a tendency to believe... Mm, no, it's a slightly different purple. Uh, Riddler's is more of a violet in color, whereas Penguin's is more of a purple. The detail they did on this guy is at pretty excellent. There's hardly any paint blemishes. They got nice straight lines along the pants. They got the nice straight lines for the collar and the bow tie. 
I'm not seeing hardly any paint blemishes. There is a little bit of peach colored paint on the mask right there. But, you know, nothing's perfect. And like I said, he does not have any trouble standing at all. Unlike the Harley Quinn Batgirl imposter, which was pretty top heavy. Uh, she should have really came with a stand, but these Batman imposters doesn't appear to have any trouble at all standing. So let's take a look at the differences. There's not really a lot of differences between Penguin and the Riddler imposters, except maybe... The belt here, it does look like there is a crease right there that shouldn't really be there, but it's not a big deal. As you can see, they've also got the gold chain coming down from his monocle, which is a really nice touch. Uh, I believe my brother purchased this for me for my birthday from Walmart in Springfield. So if you guys want to complete your collection, head on out. Find yourself Funko Pop Heroes, DC Comics Superheroes, Pop Vinyl Figure. As I said, this is the Penguin Batman Impopster. I believe Walmart carries the full line of the Batman and Batgirl Impopsters. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll be back again with another Funko Pop review. Take care. <laughs>